And what I really wanted to show was like, here are these two guys. Here's one who, he never really moved on past the, his prime, right? He was just kind of re remained like, you know, the guy who has the vinyl records and drinks U-band coffee, you know, and stays in that. And then the other guy who had his greatest times at that point in his life, but he's just tried to continue to, to relive that life over and over. He hasn't grown up, you know? So through their experience, both of them can kind of realize that it's okay to move on. We were at a, a table read, and I was just looking across the table, and here you have Robert De Niro, Sylvester Stallone, Alan Arkin, Kim Basinger, and I'm going, I'm looking at four Oscar winners in front of me at the table, like, I, and I had chills. I mean, even as I talk to you right now, I still kind of get chills, and as I've been watching these fight scenes, it's just so unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's beyond anything you could ever wish for, and I just feel so grateful that we have this cast. And you know what, I just could not have been happier when I heard Pete Siegel was going to take over because, I mean, Tommy Boy is one of my favorite movies of all time. And everything that Pete does, I mean, he knows comedy. He's done some great comedy movies, but also within that, those great laughs, he always brings heart to it, you know. And this movie needed that. And so for Pete to come on board, and you know, when Pete comes on board a script, then you're able to attract actors like Robert De Niro and Sylvester Stallone and Kevin Hart because they know they're in good hands when they're going to be in the hands of a director like that.